Did you know the first time in history that we see zero given a name was in ancient India, or that Gaussian elimination was shown in ancient China 1500 years before the West? Well, this and many more discoveries are often underappreciated by history. Pingala was an ancient Indian poet and a mathematician, believed to have been born around the 3rd or 2nd century BC, however it is difficult to know this precisely. He presented his works in the Chanda Sastra. Here he presented the first known description of a binary numeral system, a discovery that forms the basis of modern day computing. Because of this he is also credited with the first explicit reference to the number zero with a name, calling it Sunya. While studying the combinatorics of bisyllable poetry, Pingala stumbled upon a series of numbers. This was later called the Fibonacci sequence, a sequence that is found in nature such as the branching of trees, or even the shape of galaxies. Next, Bodhayana was the author of one of the earliest Sulva Sutras. In this sutra, we can see statements dictating the approximate for the square root of 2, and an estimation for the value of pi by attempting to square the circle, and most notably a statement version of the Pythagorean theorem in 800 BC, which was a stunning 2 to 300 years before Pythagoras. What we can notice is that often results and theorems such as Fibonacci's sequence or Pythagoras's theorem are often seen before in history with the latter being seen in ancient Egyptian and Babylonian civilizations, as well as the aforementioned sutra. Aryabhata was born in 500 AD. He was a mathematician and astronomer that flourished in the Gupta era. He was able to find an approximation of pi accurate to four decimal places, as well as alluding to the irrationality of this number by describing the result with the word asana, loosely meaning approaching. If this is true, it highlights the complexity of his findings since this discovery was only proved in Europe in 1761 by Johann Heinrich Lampert, Let's turn our attention to ancient mathematicians in another part of the world, more specifically ancient China. Here we see many works such as the Xuan Shu Shu or the Book on Numbers and Computation. This was written around 200 BC and consists of strips of bamboo. It covered topics such as geometric sequences and integer factorization as well as the volume of 3D solids. Historians believe much of the ancient Chinese mathematical discoveries were made independently of early Mediterranean mathematics. We turn our attention to the Three Kingdom period of China, where Liu Hui lived in 225 to 295 AD. He wrote a detailed commentary on the anonymous work called the Nine Chapters on the Mathematical Art. Once again, we see mathematical discoveries found later in the West. The first of these was Gaussian elimination, which was seen over 1500 years before Friedrich Gauss. Remarkably, through his work on the Nine Chapters, he could have been the first attributable mathematician to discover and compute with negative numbers. Other Chinese discoveries include an estimate for pi by Zhu Chongzi around 450 AD, which remained the most accurate for over 800 years, as well as the Chinese remainder theorem, which was a key tool in understanding Diophantine equations. The problem with looking back in time is we're limited by the remnants of what is preserved to this day. Some of the dates and some of the details are just an observation based on what we can see. But there are plenty more prominent ancient mathematicians, such as Brahmagupta and Bhaskara, as well as someone who codified the rules for the use of the number zero in a mathematical context. Click to see that video or other videos in this series on the history of mathematics. Thanks for watching.